5G delivers unprecedented scalability for an internet that extends beyond just smartphones and laptops and includes an internet of things. So how will connecting everything change how we interact with the world around us? Okay, 5G is the fifth and latest generation of mobile cellular technology and has specific features that really opens up new opportunities not possible with previous generations. Specifically, enhanced mobile broadband, ultra-reliable low-latency communication, and massive machine-type communications will become the trifecta powering the new mobile digital economy. If you'd like to learn more about EMBB or URLLC, check out my other videos. In this one, we're going to dive into massive machine-type communications to better understand the future Internet of Things. For decades, the Internet consisted of laptops, phones, tablets, servers, pretty much standard computing devices. Times are changing, and we're finding all kinds of new value in connecting things rather than just people. In the home, this could mean lights, smoke detectors, door locks, motion sensors, video cameras and refrigerators, all of which offer virtually infinite opportunities for new services. Where on the surface, an internet-connected light bulb is simply a convoluted way to connect a physical light switch, with a bit of out-of-the-box thinking, we can now turn the light on and off remotely. By combining it with other devices and more sophisticated instructions, we can switch it on and off depending on whether or not someone is in the room, and switch it differently depending upon the time of day. Combine this with a smart door lock, and we can automatically unlock the door, turn on the lights and air conditioning, all by processing your location. At the end of the month, we can produce a report highlighting ways you might be able to use your energy more efficiently, ultimately saving you money and decreasing your carbon footprint. This is just scratching the surface, but clearly there's considerable value in connecting things to the network. Previous generations of mobile networks didn't originally have any mechanism to treat thing connections differently from smart device connections. And as a result, we're pretty limited to a small number of active connections per cell. LTEM and NBIOT have subsequently both been created to increase connection density depending on whether the requirement is for a large number of connections with very low bandwidth or a smaller number of connections with higher bandwidth. 5G, massive machine type communications, provides a level of connectivity even beyond LTEM and MBIOT and supports up to 1 million devices per kilometer squared. This is incredibly important as the number of devices that connect to the network increases at about 25% per year. These devices could be anywhere. Some might be in fixed locations like a basement, two floors underground, or on a utility pole. Others might be moving around, attached to animals, luggage, or vehicles, relaying location, and other status information. For this reason, 5G has been designed to connect many more types of devices than previous mobile generations and can address unique requirements like battery life, reliability, latency, signal penetration, bandwidth, and scalability. So whether we're talking about a mobile heart monitor that requires real-time data transfer or a flood sensor fixed in a remote basement that requires minimal bandwidth, 5G MMTC can provide scalable, long-range, low data rate connectivity that maps efficiently to application requirements. For an operator, this means they can now offer connectivity solutions to vertical industries for tracking shipping containers, monitoring livestock, triggering traffic lights, and sensing fill levels in garbage bins. Combine IoT with cloud and AI, and there are limitless possibilities for new services and also to transform traditional services, making them more responsive, more efficient, and more manageable. Whether that's proactive maintenance on a car, building entirely automated grocery stores, or simply telling Alexa to turn off the lights. Thanks for watching. Alexa? Alexa, turn the lights back on. Alexa?